Okay, so today I'm bringing a bit of a conversation, uh, something that I've had in my early days when I was here. It all started with a conversation I had with Swami. I asked him, okay, teach me something new. Simple question, something that of course I was going to ask. Now, he said, oh, okay, you want to learn some new things. I was getting taken on a ride here. By the end of the conversation, it was like, whoa, did you just do that to me? That is genius. I'm going to role play this conversation out with you. The conversation went a bit like this. What do you know already? And then I'm at the point thinking, okay, now I'm answering questions. He's the one asking and uh, not doing too well. He started asking, who taught you how to sit? Is there a way you can sit better? So how do you know you're sitting in the best way? Who taught you how to eat? Are you eating the best food in the best way, the right amount at the right times? All these little things that I assume that I already know. And then I'm thinking, do I actually know them? And then he starts, it starts building, it starts building. I start getting eager to figure out, okay, what, what was I meant to know that I wasn't taught before? And uh, that conversation keeps going. Then he got to the line, do you even know how to breathe? Thinking, oh, okay. Why does that sound like something I already know how to do and should never be asked that question in my life? Thinking, do I know how to, of course I know how to breathe, I'm breathing, type of thing. All these little things, if you know how to do it in the best way possible for yourself, your day-to-day -day life, your life on a second-to-second -second basis just becomes that much better. He also went a bit too far, actually. He might have just hit a good point there. But he went on to say, do you even know how to think? I was like, oh, okay. What it was, the guy literally goes, when you want to think about something, do you know what to think about, how to get yourself to think about it, and how to actually think about what you want to think about. And uh, then it does start getting a bit more deeper than an average activity. So essentially, we lose track just listening to everyone else, pulling everyone's philosophy, and uh, I'm not here to learn some new thing or uh, some ancient yogi, mystic lifestyle, really and truly. It's come down to the fact that a lot of the things that I think I know is just what I assume is right, not what I've actually cross-checked and thought, okay, is this the best practice for me? So this conversation went on for a good two hours. He still did not give me the answers. I'm thinking, you question me. I'm questioning myself now. I'm going to struggle to even think normally. He's made, a, he's made nice fat holes in my mentality. What happened? If these things were able to be taught verbally, then we'll know them already. Someone would have put a YouTube video out or something just telling you, okay, this is the best way for you, whatnot. But what it really comes down to, it opens up a student mentality in your head. That ego, it, it goes down. Then you're ready to learn something. You're ready to look inwards. You're ready to be a student of your own self. You're actually thinking, okay, now I want to step this aspect of life up. You don't just get everything in one go. You start pacing yourself. You start moving towards a motive. And uh, this is how I really got through a certain amount of weeks here. Time goes really fast, but on a day-to-day -day basis, 18 hours, I'm sitting with individuals for nine hours. How do I know what to talk about? It's because there's an inner student inside of me. That student that powers your conversation. You know, some people just got a habit of looking at the bad. Some people just got, they just don't know what they're looking for in life as a whole. So when they sit with someone, when they see something good in front of them, they don't really know what to take. That same conversation, relearning what you were never taught. That, it got me going, really got me going. So as you know, I'm here for a few more weeks, working on my own life, uh, pulling value from conversations, from lifestyles, uh, when, whenever I can, I'll try to push that onto video for all of you. And uh, if there is anything specific, do let me know. Till then, see you on the next video.